So hello, my name is Joshua Webb. I'm a fifth generation dairy farmer here in Raft River, Idaho. Um, just a summary or an overview of our business. We, we started in the dairy industry a number of years ago. Um, we moved to Idaho in the 70s. Uh, before that we were, we were di strictly dairy and we were uh, located in Bluffdale, Utah. Um, when my family moved here in the 70s, we, uh, we acquired some ground and built a dairy and, and uh, somewhat uh, experienced some growth since then. So uh, in the years since then, we've, we've built a new dairy and, and now we have two separate dairy facilities. Here on our, on our farm, we milk about uh, 2,400 head and um, we have a separate facility for our calving and our, our dry pens and um, maternity barns. We started milking in this uh, barn in December of 2018. Um, after about a year to a year and a half of construction, we finally completed our barn and were able to move in and start milking in December. Um, so we've been here a little over two years now and uh, we have 18 robots here in this facility. And it can house up just over a thousand uh, head of milking cows. Um, our, our original parlor uh, was built in 1991. It was built as a herringbone. We went through a, a modification process a number of years ago and made it a parallel. We were just uh, we were we were running out of, of room at that dairy, and and it was becoming an outdated system. So while we still milk there now, uh, we weren't able to move all of our production to the robotic barn. Um, that was the the primary factor behind looking to expand or looking to build a new facility was just that we were out of space. One of the things I, I'm most excited about is how, how uh, each cow is individualized in a robot parlor. So, so a cow is able to be milked uh, according to her production. We're also able to feed in the robot according to her production. I think we gained a lot of efficiency from a feed standpoint, from a feed extents, expense standpoint. Um, and also, uh, you know, we're maximizing each cow um, based on her, on her production. It's a different mindset and it's a different labor pool that we're dealing with now. Um, so, so we went from employing people who were milking on a shift, uh, milking cows, a pretty repetitive uh, a job, and now, we, and now we have to employ uh, people who are more skilled in electronics, um, computers, different things of that nature. We've also had to change our, our uh, management style, our management practices. Um, it, it does require, robotic dairies are very nice, but require a high level of management. Primarily, it let us milk more cows. We still are using our old facility, and um, we were able to add some more, some more cows, and, and, and uh, we grew physically from that standpoint. Um, we've also been able to, to uh, make better decisions for our animals. 